Hey everybody, thanks for joining us with this mini-series regarding leaky gut. We hope you've had a chance to learn a few things about the digestive system, how inflammation works, and how your diet plays a role. Leaky gut's a big deal. It affects a lot of people and can definitely be improved through diet, through lifestyle, through supplementation and herbs, as, as well as working with someone who's competent in that area of health. But there are other things that can be done from a non-dietary standpoint to help leaky gut. Dr. Horsley is really an expert at talking about and discussing what else can be done in the world yeah. that doesn't involve putting it on your plate and changing it or just taking a supplement or a pill. So Dr. Horsley, if you were going to help counsel someone that has leaky gut on ways to improve their systemic life, yeah. what might you add to what we've talked about so far in this video series? Yeah, um, a big overall concept is just reducing stress because stress can play havoc on your overall gut health. And so this can look very different depending on, you know, what helps to fuel you during this time. And so for a lot of people, that's going to be doing some different mindfulness type um, exercises or doing some journaling, um, helping to do things to help to improve their sleep, going for a walk outside, getting some fresh air, doing some deep breathing exercises. All of these different things can help your body to better regulate and decrease stress. So whatever that you've found for you that tends to work the best, that can be a great option because there's a deep connection between our gut health and inflammation and stress. The two of them inter interconnected where oftentimes fear, worry, stress creates havoc on your gut and vice versa, when that occurs in our gut, that can come back and increase stress in our life too. So helping on this side can play a big factor in restoring gut health. Another big thing is just helping to decrease inflammation in general. So that can be things such as going out and going for a walk, getting movement, because movement can be a big factor in helping to decrease inflammation. I highly recommend getting out in the sunshine, doing some deep breathing, incorporating all of these together because that is a big thing to help the overall mindset of health because to get that best variation of you, you need to work on your gut health. So like that chemical nutritional side, structural with chiropractic and neurology and those things, but also mental. So really working on that mindfulness side is a key factor in overall health. You know, it reminds me of something I, I heard back in college where they talk about eat well, move well, Think well, be well. Yeah. And they all intertwine amongst yeah. each other. So when it comes to leaky gut, even though we're, we're labeling it as a digestive problem, mm -hmm. that can overflow into the brain, the lungs, the sinus, yeah. the skin, the etc. As we start to de-stress the body, as we start to reduce inflammation systemically, there's going to be a systemic effect. Yeah. Yes, the leaky gut should improve, but yeah. so should the way our brain functions, the way our skin looks, our joints move. There should be a lot of overlap yeah. systemically. So thank you all very much for joining us as part of this Leaky Gut series. We hope you've enjoyed it. We hope you've learned something. If we can be a resource for anyone, please don't hesitate to reach out to us and, and let us know. And, and we'll do the best we can to help you out. Thank you all for watching and have a great day.